Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about the how to bypass the Excel filter. Uh, I think last couple of weeks, uh, last time or a couple of weeks ago, we went through uh, other uh, techniques on how to bypass the filter. Today, we're going to use the character escape technique, and I'll, I'll show you guys some example how you can use those uh, uh, strings or uh, different techniques to bypass the filters. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, and let's get moving. So what is character escaping? So JavaScript allows various character escape types that provide us the ability to execute the code instead of being interpreted as the literal form. So for the following example, uh, let's suppose we need to bypass the filter that blocks the alert keywords. As you can see, we have it here, script alert uh, script, and uh, here the alert is blocked. Now, uh, we are ignoring at this moment uh, that there are other forms of alternative, like, of course, uh, I know uh, as a security uh, pen tester, we know uh, if the alert is blocked, you can use certain other characters, but let's assume all of them are not allowed uh, and they don't exist, so we have to uh, use the alert in order to exploit the cross-site scripting. So, first we can use the Unicode escaping techniques without using any native functions. So here are the examples. So here we can use the uh, um, uh, Unicode escape. Like in the first example, we are just going to convert A to this particular string. And then we can also convert the entire alert uh, uh, to the Unicode and then use this to bypass filter. Uh, the other technique uh, that we can also use is using the native function. Uh, here I'm taking an example of the eval, but of course uh, there are several alternatives of the eval uh, in the native function. So what you can also do is you can use eval, uh, and then within the eval you can supply the alert, uh, of course using the Unicode string. Uh, and the other you can also do is uh, you can just use character A, which is unicoded. Of course, there is like you know trial and error. Sometimes the filter would block uh, part of LERT as well, but sometimes so you have to use the entire string. But then also sometimes it would might just work by unicoding just the uh, certain character. So uh, that that's the other technique that you can uh, certainly use. Now let's say uh, let's go a little bit more advanced and and go past the Unicode escaping. What we can also do is we can use decimal, octal, or hexadecimal encoding. Uh, now in this example, uh, let's say uh, we are using uh, this particular payload and and the alert which is inside the string as a string is blocked, right? So in uh, in addition to Unicode, we can also use the multiple escape that we made up. Uh, this is one of the examples that we saw earlier, like you can use the Unicode, but then we can also use the Octal Escape. Uh, and likewise, you can also use the Hexadecimal Escape. Now, all of this, uh, you can easily, uh, like, you know, Burp has uh, inbuilt tool to do that. And there are also websites uh, online uh, which you can use to... Uh, escape rather than like you know uh, figuring out manually you can use those tools uh, you just provide the input and then they'll uh, give you the output with the octal or hexadecimal escape but or definitely check out the burp as well uh, it has uh, inbuilt encoding tool uh, of course it might not do all of this but uh, certain uh, functions are available within the burp uh, then you can also uh, do this hexadecimal numeric character reference. Uh, that's another uh, technique that you can use. Uh, same way you can also use the decimal numeric character reference. And then we can also use the superfluous escape characters. So uh, as you noticed here, I have like, you know, you have the slash uh, after A, then L, then ERT, and then also uh, we are kind of trying to uh, use this superfluous techniques to uh, bypass a filter here. Now, other thing is you can use all of this combined. So uh, there is another way. So let's say if all of this fails, you can also combine all of this and uh, create a string uh, which would uh, definitely bypass any 
access filter so as you can see here we have used this unicode then uh, octal and then hexadecimal and then we also use this numeric character reference from hexadecimal numeric sorry decimal as well so uh, you can kind of combine all of them uh, to use the appropriate string uh, now constructing the string is very critical skill that uh, you should have or the one should have it's it's going to be very important uh, in bypassing the filter uh, so for example let's say alert is blocked but there might be chances uh, ALE plus RT might not so and that's not detected actively by the filter so how do we how do we use that to bypass the filter so what you can do is you can use the several JavaScript functions uh, that you can use to create the strings uh, one of them is source dot source so you can uh, combine two characters uh, using dot source then the other thing is you can also use a string from char code and you supply uh, of course the decimal value of each one and then it's gonna combine and, and give you the string the other thing you can also use a to b uh, which is also very famous and uh, two string uh, everyone must know about this one so you can also use uh, this technique to kind of construct the string and then supply uh, and that will absolutely bypass the filter so these are uh, some techniques I want to share uh, of course this is going to be very useful when you are doing the pen testing in your real life or maybe uh, doing some bug bounty or something uh, so definitely keep those keep this in mind and, and try to like you know exercise as much as you can I know there are a lot of scanners out there which would do this by default like for you but then in certain examples the scanner might fail and then you have to figure out by yourself how you can uh, like you know bypass based on the response doesn't take long like uh, if you uh, like you know try and exercise this and practice this more and more this will come by default to you like which technique to use uh, it just by experience so uh, try practicing let me know if you have if you have used any other techniques uh, that uh, you would like to share with us and, and everyone can get benefit from that uh, other than that uh, we are going we are still going to go deeper into this advanced techniques uh, in the future videos so uh, keep subscribing to this video and hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next week